Hey YouTube, this is Josh with Josh Wright Piano TV. Um, today I'm going to be going over some techniques you can use on tricky octaves passages. And I've gone over many of these in various videos throughout my channel, but I've been working on this Liszt Rhapsody number no. two, um, preparing for a little upcoming performance, and I wanted to show you some of the ways that I've been working on this. The first thing that I'll do is I'll always just go hands alone, really slowly, and sometimes exaggerating the motions. This is actually from a friend named uh, Elizabeth Schumann. You can check out her her Schubert Erlkenig Erl video. Um, I'm saying that terribly, like in the German Erlkenig, or however you say that. Um, but um, the Erlking, and uh, it's wonderful. And she told me she would do like exaggerated octave motions. So I've kind of applied that to here. So um, it's this passage, bar th 344 to 3. 57 so okay so so I'm just gonna start with this because what this does is it gets you out of the position sometimes it's very easy to tense up and, and have your hand tense like that versus just playing up and relaxing between each of these positions Next thing I'm going to do is my favorite exercise for any type of jumps, and it also helps with octaves passages, is the up-down exercise. Notice I come all the way back here, so my arm lifts a little bit, my hand comes all the way back here. I was taught this by Sergei Babayan. I teach this to every single one of my students, even when they're just starting out with triads and inversions. I think Bob Ayan is, is the world's greatest pianist, it's just my humble opinion, um, and also one of the most genuine and amazing people you'll ever meet. Uh, he's so funny, and he's just the most creative teacher um, in, the sense, in the sense of how he um, uh, thinks about things. Uh, he will come up with analogies that are just unbelievable. I remember we were playing Barbara, this total you know, I'm not <laughs> going to get into that because it's kind of a long story. Um, uh, but anyway, okay, so the up-down exercise uh, is, is very beneficial. So, and you can do it with both hands. The next thing you can do is you can break apart the octaves. Um, so in this one, it's an octave plus a middle note. So you could do, let's see, I haven't practiced this way yet today, so... Just take a small section like that. Let's see. And then this one. Okay. And then the top ones. Let's see. Okay. I might just go to there and then back down. Gosh dang. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I'll just do that until that feels good, and then back down. Oops. Okay, and then let's try both together. and then um, you could do just thumbs. If you've never done that before, it's very weird the first time you do it, but it really does help a lot. And then just pinkies. Okay. Feels really, really good. Um, the other thing you can do is you can practice like one motion. So, and then so down, up. Obviously, you're doing little up-down motions, but if you think in your mind, up, so you're going up, then back down, then up, back down, that really does help a lot. And then um, eyes closed, and then eyes closed with kind of the flop of your hands, until that feels really good, and then, and then eyes closed, let's see here. And again, 
you're seeing that I'm kind of messing up in certain places. Um, okay, but then I'll I'll just take little sections and I'll put them together, and then. Um, I just like to build in sections, and if I really can't get a section, I will just go backwards from the end. So I'll just take like all the way from here, um, and then I'll go, and then, and so forth. So those are just some little tips that I use for octaves that I hope can also help you along the way. It's great to be back doing these videos. Sorry I took a little break there. Um, Obviously got a haircut in the meantime. <laughs> it's a nice change. And uh, I'm teaching both at the University of Utah and at Snow College. Um, so if any of you, are, I, I know a lot of you have asked me in the past, um, you know, are you teaching at any colleges that I could come audition for? Um, if you're interested in doing that, uh, send me an email. My email is josh at joshwrightpiano.com. And feel free to also send me um, any questions that you might have about octaves or anything else. Um, one thing I, I want to ask you guys for your help, and if you could please email it to me rather than leaving it in the comments, it would really help me because I very rarely read the comments on my YouTube channel. First of all, um, a lot of people are super mean, and then, <laughs> which is kind of a lame excuse, but uh, I don't have time for negativity in my life, so um, I've chosen not to do that. So if you want to um, leave a comment for others' benefit, go for it, or linking anything. Um, the other thing that I... Um, have been wondering is Alexei Grinyuk, uh, one of my YouTube subscribers actually emailed me and said, how do you get octaves like Grinyuk? And it's beyond me. He has f as fast of octave as Martha Argerich. It's just unbelievable. And it's like... <laughs> That's feeling pretty good, to be honest, and and all of this kind of relaxed work that we've been going over. Um, but his are faster than that, a little faster, than what I just did. But the thing that's incredible isn't necessarily the speed of just, you know, being able to do that. It's that he has this insane speed and relaxation for like the entire list sixth rhapsody. And it's I, I've compared his and Argerich's um recordings and obviously speed isn't everything. I think Argerich is one of the greatest artists of our century. Um she's just unbelievable. And but Grinuk's octaves are just like a thing out of this world. And I mean, he's probably the most talented person in the world at those octaves, along with some other famous professionals. So we're comparing ourselves to the best, but if any of you know him uh, personally, or are a student of his, or have talked to him about those octaves, I would personally love to uh, know how he practices those to get them like that. And I'd be happy to share that with the YouTube channel um, and get out the information to as many people as possible, because he's such an amazing artist and I'm just fascinated by that. Another um, person each of you should check out is Elizabeth Schumann. She's unbelievable. Uh, the, the Earl King uh, recording. I know I mentioned that earlier, um, but check that out. And uh, if I remember to, I'll link that in the comment section below. So if any of you have questions, my email is josh at joshwrightpiano.com. Thanks so much for joining me today. Good luck in your practice sessions.